Hi Pisces, uh, this is your weekly reading from May the 9th to the 16th. I hope everyone is having a good week so far. Um, if this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share. That would be super, super helpful. Um, if it doesn't, check your moon and rising. You could be in that energy as well this week. Again, these are general readings. So if it doesn't resonate, then um, I'll try and uh, connect your energy next week and give you a give you like a mini personal reading, but we'll, we'll see, right? Um, again, they are general. All right, Pisces, right off the bat, we have this new creative beginning for you. Maybe this is an idea that's harboring. Um, it could also feel like in general, um, a new passion project, something that you kind of want to start for yourself here. Could even be a new relationship, something as a new kind of passionate beginning here. Um, so if some of you are kind of in that stage of getting into a relationship, yeah, and this might be for you as well. Let's kind of see what this creative new beginning is for you. Uh, if it's a fiery new beginning, it is definitely with a fire sign probably, or um, this fire sign kind of might be entering your life. Um, they're Pisces, or you're kind of having this kind of fresh start with this fire sign here. Um, if that's not for you, if that's not the case, if you're in a relationship, it doesn't have to be a relationship here. Um, it could also just mean in general, your energy Pisces is feeling creative, feeling um, that drive again um, to go after passion projects, to go after a new idea. Maybe it's to start your own business. Maybe it's um, something to harness your talents in a specific area. Whatever this kind of energy is, this kind of fresh start is for kind of you, whether relationship or whether work here. It's something where you're going to feel very empowered by it. You're going to feel like um, a little bit like this is kind of um, a true calling almost for you, Pisces. Something we're manifesting here with the magician, right? Something that we've kind of been manifesting for a while. Um, maybe this is something that just shows up kind of out of the blue. Again, kind of like a little presentation here. You're going like, oh yeah, that finally clicks. But th whatever this is, it's leading you towards a manifestation. So maybe this is something that you were kind of hoping for. Again, that you were trying to manifest for yourself here. Um, whatever this kind of fresh start is that you're manifesting, it looks like it's on its way for you. And it's in like a good kind of um, area for you here. Interesting. Yeah, but it's good that you've kind of been manifesting that. This is definitely kind of a wish kind of come true moment for you. And you're seeing the value. Lots of um, wands for you. Lots of fire and we kind of go on for you this week, Pisces. Um, with the three pentacles here, it means that we're kind of, things are on the way for us. Whatever we're kind of hoping for, um, whatever we're kind of waiting for is, it means we're kind of um, seeing that they're on their way. Um, again, we're seeing that our manifestations are kind of coming to life here. Um, we're seeing kind of how the universe is kind of listening and like working with us here. Um, and we're kind of just letting them come in. We're letting things kind of come towards us right now. Again, maybe this was this fire sign that you were waiting for here and they're kind of finally coming towards you. Um, but in general, whatever this is, I feel like it's something that you've been kind of hoping for or waiting for for a little bit. Interesting, you got the Five of Pentacles and the Strength card. Could be a Leo that you're dealing with here. Can I have more on what this Five of Pentacles and the Strength is? So it's saying almost like there's this little bit of loss going on here. There's a little bit of feeling out in the cold. Um, a little bit of feeling, a little bit of abandoned energy here. So in the Strength to kind of move past that. What is this feeling abandoned? Okay, I kind of have what it's trying to tell me here. It feels like there is a little bit of let down or you feeling like maybe let down by this person, um, if this is a specific person or let down by this creative project that you've kind of been doing here. In the past, you felt like kind of left out of the cold. You kind of felt like um, maybe they were distant. You kind of felt like um, they were kind of pulled back or something. But I think it's telling you to have the strength um, have the strength to kind of move past that here because there is a little bit of blocked intuition and i feel like this especially with this kind of new start that's happening here for the things that we're manifesting we really need to listen to our gut here and listen um and kind of trust that our gut is kind of leading us in the right direction because it feels like maybe you've tried something or went down this a path like this before and it kind of didn't lead um somewhere you liked um, somewhere that felt good, somewhere that, um, you know, worked out for you. And it's, something, it's just saying, um, what the cards are kind of saying here is for you, Pisces, to have the strength to push forward, to have the strength um, to not feel like 
um, whatever this outcome is, is going to be the same outcome as you have felt before or that has happened before, you know, like don't already decide the future um, before you even know it. Listen to our gut because it sounds like our intuition here is trying to tell us something. Um, and we're just kind of not listening to it right now with the high priestess reversed. Um, maybe meditate, get in touch kind of with our with our high priestess here, right? Get in touch with our intuition um, and really ground ourselves so we know what the right, um, the right way forward is. Especially if it is kind of with this fire sign or not. Good, it feels like your manifestations again are coming to are coming to light here, so I love that for you, Pisces. For Pisces, please. Hmm. It didn't fall, but the two. Um, <laughs> it didn't. All right, it, it didn't fall out of the deck, but the two of cups flipped over in the deck. And uh, you know, when things flip over in the deck for me, it's like just pay attention to it. But like, unless it falls, I don't take it. But when I was shuffling the cards. When I was shuffling the cards, all I kept seeing while I was shuffling, like, was the two of cups, right? And I feel like I was like, okay, then there's a little message there, right? It's just like, this is kind of what we're talking about. This kind of relationship, this kind of dynamic here um, is what we're talking about. And it, it feels like, again, if this isn't a romantic relationship, it's just in the sense Pisces that... Uh, there is a, a partnership to be had here even if it's not again with a romantic partner if it's cr a creative partner there is going to kind of be this new partnership and we need to kind of trust our intuition if in our gut it feels right to kind of move forward with this um then do it again we gotta trust our gut in the situation here because the high priestess is saying hey you're not listening to yourself you're not listening um to your gut when it should be pisces for Pisces. The Hermit energy, there's some Virgo energy here, so not a fire sign, it could also maybe be a Virgo as well. We also have the High Priestess here. Or it's just saying you need some alone time here. Maybe you are gonna to choose to kind of be alone in the end because you just feel um, not ready. But the Hermit is kind of taking the time to kind of iso with, uh, isolate ourselves there. So I wanna see what this Hermit energy is. What is this Hermit energy for Pisces? What is this hermit energy for Pisces? Might be having some inner conflicts, some inner battles with yourself because um, I got the hermit and I also got the fighting card, which is interesting because it kind of means alone time, but then you're like conflict. Why is there conflict with being alone? Maybe you have a bit of commitment uh, commitment issues here, Pisces. Maybe you're feeling it um, easier to kind of be with by yourself or be alone here um, because it's a lot safer and you're... Uh, uh, it's just kind of what I came up with this is is feeling like um you know battling kind of with this new relationship because I don't know again I just feel like the comfort the safeness of the hermit card of being by yourself but it's, it's causing a conflict here because I feel like we're trying to manifest a relationship um, but when maybe something comes in here, we are not trusting ourselves. We're not having the strength to maybe put ourselves out there or open ourselves to kind of new opportunity because we're having this internal conflict with ourselves. I'm wanting kind of this conflict. It feels really like internal conflict. I'm wanting this conflict kind of coming up here. Wands conflict here. Thank you. Hmm. Queen of Cups reversed. This conflict is us not listening to our emotional side and kind of cutting um, that our, ourselves off from those emotions, cutting ourselves off from what we are feeling because it is safer that way. And I kind of feel this energy with you as well, Pisces, where you're just like, whatever I'm feeling, I'm just going to cut myself off from it. I'm not going to listen to my feelings because remember that time I listened to my, or I started to have feelings or I was vulnerable and then my feelings got hurt and I was left out of the cold because this person betrayed me. Um, and I'm not going to let that happen to myself again. But when we do that, we kind of don't allow opportunity to come in for us as well. Again, I can't tell you what is the right and wrong answer here. All I can tell you is just trust your gut in whatever situation because your higher self is using that intuition there to kind of tell you what is kind of 
going on, tell you which kind of direction to go. Because right now it seems like you're all over the place mentally. You're kind of having some mental confusions. Um, you're kind of just don't know. Your your head might be telling you something different. Just watch for that. Watch that um, we listen to ourselves and not to our head sometimes. Because sometimes our head, especially with myself this week as well, I feel like my brain is betraying me this week. I feel like it's telling me stories that aren't there and it's not real. Um, but it's just having the ability to go, okay, that might just be fear talking or that might just be my brain trying to keep me safe, you know, keep me from experiencing this hurt again. Um, so again, just watch for that this week. Um, take take a minute to, to think about that. Be like, what does this thought um, actually mean and what it, does it kind of represent for me there, Pisces? It seems like it might be telling you a different story than what is actually going on. Pisces, anything else for Pisces before I pull some Oracle cards? Anything else for Pisces? Anything else for Pisces? Five, four, three, two, one. No. Okay. I'm going to pull some Oracle cards here. I'm gonna start with the energy oracle because I thought it was interesting because it came out sideways, which means it could go this way, it can go this way. So I want to read it as a choice here. Um, so I'm gonna read you three as blossoming abundance. Increasing wealth and value. I'm gonna read you both upright and reverse. This card shows a beautiful garden in the springtime with coins and new flowers blossoming all around. They hang like fruit on the trees above. Upright this card signals a new increase in wealth, possibly in a dramatic, unexpected way. Be aware that your sorrow of your seeds the, to sow the seeds of your own <laughs> wealth and prosperity. Much like a gardener works on the ground and begins to see the blooming results take hold, this card upright indicates the universe is blessing you and helping you with fruits of your labors to blossom. So stop and smell the roses and tend to the new growth. Be grateful and joy. Uh, grateful and enjoy, sorry. Uh, this card reversed reveals the potential of decrease in money with coins falling from the garden out of sight. Uh, sometimes when you receive this card, it's in the position may feel um, as though cash is slipping through your fingers. While this might seem like an ongoing uh, state of affairs, you can still turn things around and be very conscious and re responsible where money and um, money issues are involved. Take action to plant your no uh, new seeds and nurture your financial garden and be patient and clarity. The cycle will end and you will in time enjoy the fruits of your labor. Abundant wealth blossoms all around me. I see the value in my everyday life. And I think that is what we're talking about here with this blossoming abundance is kind of getting to this energy where this new creative start. Um, maybe for you, again, that's a new job, new relationship. Make sure we're kind of tending the garden here. Make sure we're seeing that this abundance is kind of on the way for us and trusting our gut um, that we know the right uh, direction forward. Because it's also funny because you also have something in, um, by the starseed oracle here which is watering your garden nourishment body care tenderness and rest as another thing another garden here so it's kind of all about tending to that garden this week tending to ourselves um and also allowing kind of these new kind of things to be brought into our life that we're manifesting here earth is a seasonal planet and such your seasonal beings uh cyclic you can't be on and in full bloom month after month, day after day. You're strongly being called to put on the brakes, rest and refuel, to take a moment to restock, to replenish, to slow right on down. Your body is the only body you're given and it needs to be respected as such. You're being called to take responsibility for your well-being, to put your health and body first. I don't can feel like time is running out and as if there aren't urgent things that simply cannot wait. However, if you keep pushing on, soon fatigue will set in. The way of living isn't sustainable. If anyone continues to race through life, eventually they will reach exhaustion and will take longer to recover than it would if you had done some rest. Immune system disorders, mystery illnesses are becoming more and more common because we're putting too much pressure on our bodies to keep up with the instant pace of modern life. 
How are you being called to put on the brakes, to rest, to restore, to rejuvenate? When was the last time you took a holiday or had a full weekend, day or afternoon off? Look after your precious body and mind. Give yourself enough time to recover when you find yourself running on your reserves. There is enough time, life will bend um, toward you when you do. What is your body yearning for? Right, when we're kind of in the space of um, nourishing ourselves and nourishing our own kind of emotional beings here and, and um, feeling again that we're gonna be abundant, that our manifestations are kind of coming for us here and, and things are kind of gonna work out for us. Make sure we're giving ourselves that rest this week. And even though there's this drive, this new beginning here, um, take care of yourself always. All right, Pisces, that was your reading this week. I hope that helped.